Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks, where I show you either a product or a pair. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to be showing you a new product. Let's get started. In this video, I'm going to be going over the DLZ R200. It's a multifunctional recover device, which allows us to copy True Tone from an original Apple screen to another original or even an aftermarket screen. Out of the box, it's pretty straightforward. We have a read, a write, and an on and off button. Here in the side, we'll notice that it comes with the iPhone 13, 13 mini connector. 12, 12 Pro, 12 Mini, and 12 Pro Max connectors. As you can see, we've got two different logic boards that look exactly the same, except for down at the bottom, where we have original display True Tone and copy display True Tone. If you're using a premium screen, then you should be able to use this one. If you're using an aftermarket screen, then use this one. Seeing as we're using an aftermarket, we're gonna go ahead and Pull this one out gently and snap in this board and also the previous models starting with the 7 all the way up through the 11 series. And here for a practical demonstration I'm going to be using this iPhone 12 Pro Max. As you can see it's got a busted display and we need to replace it. So this is a perfect opportunity to transfer true tone from an original display to an aftermarket display. As you can see, we've got the true tone here. We'll go ahead and turn this off, disconnect the battery, disconnect the display. We'll go ahead and connect it up to the phone. Connect the connector, connect the battery. And let's turn it on. We have an important display message. And you'll notice when we go in there, the true tone has simply disappeared from the settings. Go ahead, turn it off, unplug the battery, unplug the display. Go ahead and hold down the on button. We'll select English. So we've got the copied display true tone. Take the original display. And we'll connect it up. Okay. We'll hit read. Read success. Get the X07 screen, connect it up, hold down right, writing, write success. All right, let's reconnect the screen and the battery. Let's power it on. see we definitely have the message up there but when we go we have our true tone back so that's how to use the dlz r200 to restore true tone here on this uh, 12 pro max a nifty little tool that you should definitely have if you aren't already transferring over true tone <laughs>